Let's go back to the example that we used in the previous module, the Bacall Company. The business is almost ready to start trading. It has in fact completed two essential actions, summarized in the opening balance sheet. Firstly, it's put together a body of financial resources, 150,000 euros in fixed funds, capital plus financial liabilities, and 45,000 euros in short-term funds, and that's to say funds repayable in the short term. The total of these sources of funds therefore amounts to 195,000 euros. Secondly, what are the uses of these sources of funds? That's to say, how have they been employed? Bacall acquired its operating assets to the value of 90,000 euros, together with opening stock 45,000 euros, and even has cash left over, a real textbook case. The business has also opened up a shop and taken on a salesman, so trading can begin. Once the company has been set up, it'll pursue its economic objectives related to its core business. In our example, Bacall is a clothing sales business. Its operating cycle is as follows. The business receives garments from its supplier, then sells them to its customers in its shops. This money enables it to pay its operating expenses and hopefully to show a profit. Particular attention will be paid to showing a profit as the business's survival depends on this. Where should a loss be recorded? In fixed assets, in current assets, in equity, in liabilities. Well done. You got the right answer. Bacall sells half of its stock for a sales value of €44,000. How much does this increased profit buy? Bacall repays half of its operating liabilities, amounting to €25,000. How much does profit increase by? Half of the stock is valued at €24,000, so selling it for €44,000 will show a profit of €20,000. The profit increases by that amount. There is no impact on profit at the time a liability is repaid. There is no consumption or no income, just the removal of a source of finance, the liability, by an equal use of funds, bank. Do not confuse liabilities with an expense for the year.